Okay, here's the black shoe, one of a pair that Kendrick Johnson was most likely looking for when he became trapped in the vertical mat. Uh, many students testified that they shared this pair of shoes with Kendrick. He was not wearing the black shoes when he came into the gym. There were two pairs of shoes. He was wearing a white pair of shoes. He most likely click, click, kicked them off inside the vertical mat and they fell in on top of him. And he was most likely reaching for one or both of these black shoes at the bottom of the mat. Uh, we don't know exactly how the black shoe was positioned inside the mat because when the coach and the students pulled the mats down, everything went flying in different directions and this shoe was found close to the body and as you can see, it's in a little bit of the blood. Um, people have said, well, why, why wasn't there more blood on the shoe? Well, most likely because it got soaked up in his dreadlocks or because the shoe was not in the direct path of any of the leakage. Uh, of the bodily fluids, the purge, and the blood. When a body decomposes, um, blood fluid, blood and bodily fluids starts to accumulate due to gravity since his body was upside down. Everything migrated due to gravity down toward the head and the torso, and it does start leaking out of your mouth, your nose, your eyes, your ears. And so this shoe probably simply was not in the path of the leakage of bodily fluids. But I want everybody to understand there was two pairs of shoes. People say, well, if he was looking for a pair of shoes, why are they behind him in the mat? Well, he was looking for a different pair of shoes. Okay, hope we're all clear on that.